if you need a good laugh, you'll find plenty of laughs in Monty Python's Spamalot. The National Tour musical is in Denver for only four performances, so you definitely have to check this out quickly. Joining us is one of the leads, Cassidy Devlin, who plays Sir Robin and Brother Maynard. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Well, it's good to have you here yeah. with us, and, and we're excited to have this hilarious show back in yeah. Denver. Uh, what is it about the humor, do you think, that, that really draws people in and keeps audi audiences yeah. coming back? That's an interesting question. I think... When Monty Python first came out in the 70s, it's uh, sort of the Beatles and the Rolling Stones are to music as Monty Python is to humor. It's sort of came out of a place when comedy was sort of getting boring and it's something, it's crazy, it's really intelligent. So it, it, people from that respect can enjoy it. But at the same time, it's silly, it's zany and sometimes scatological. So, so, so there's kind of humor on different <laughs> levels. Because there's spectrum, a little bit yeah. of sort of that slapstick humor, yeah, but yeah. there's also, like you said, more of a wittiness yeah. to it as well. It's a very smart humor, yeah. What kind of an audience, or is, is there a specific person who would really yeah. enjoy this? That's a great question. No, the, uh, it's interesting. Uh, Eric Idle, the original Python member who adapted this, did a really good job at making sure that everyone can enjoy it. So when we get like a Python audience, it's really like doing a rock and roll concert. You yeah. have, you know, characters will come out, just the mention of their name will get a huge response and cheers. But at the same time, people who haven't seen the show, people that are new to Python, they did a really good job. This isn't the movie, although it is the movie, but it's a completely <laughs> new story. It's a it's new fresh. ending. It's fresh, yeah. So we have people, we have kids who have never even heard of Monty Python before and can really enjoy the show. And I think it's a testament to some pretty good writing. Uh, from the Pythons and a pretty good adaptation. Talk from, uh, about your character specifically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, Sir Robin is the bravely bold Sir Robin, which she's actually mostly pretty much a coward. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's probably the most realistic character. Um, I think him as the star of the show. Um, <laughs> it'd be different if we had Arthur here. But uh, uh, he's, a, he's a very fun character. He's, he's relatable to the audience because I think he's the one person that's reacting to the crazy things around him. Yeah. He's Quick to be afraid, but he's also, uh, he has some great one-liners. Yeah. <laughs> Probably because Eric Otto, who wrote the show, originated the role. So I'm thinking maybe he padded the part, but... So you're not ad-libbing when some of those little zingers some, that you have out there. Some of them are. Yeah. There's, it's an interesting, I think, I challenge the audience to guess what is improv and what isn't. It's, yeah. it's a fun show. It's different every night. It really is. And it's... It's just an incredibly fun show to be a part of. Well, and you mentioned we mentioned it's a very quick time that you're going to be yeah, spending yeah. here in Denver. So this must just be kind of an exhausting schedule for you. Do you get kind of worn out and have to get up for those performances? What do you do? No, the power of this show just enlivens me every day. No, <laughs> no yeah, it's a tiring. It's a tiring schedule, I have to admit. But every night you're with a completely new group of people, the audience and then the actors on stage. And we're all, everyone's so present. And yeah. it's, it's sometimes... The actors on stage are just like the audience members. We don't know what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. So everyone together is on their toes, and that's really wonderful. And you don't get to see that a lot. Sounds like a fun shows. team. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. I noticed in your bio that you dedicate your performance to the great teachers you've yeah, had. Yeah, yeah, So what do you say to those teachers and students out there? Yeah, no, I think that's a... Teachers are so incredibly important. And I think especially it's important to recognize that sometimes the teachers that we have aren't Mr. So-and-so or Mrs. So-and-so, mm -hmm. but there are uh, they're people around us, people everyday life, parents. I dedicate the, the show also to my father, who's a great teacher, who uh, passed away before seeing the show. Mm -hmm. But uh, there are, I say, to, especially to the students, that um, it's important to remember that you're always a student. Uh, right. Even when Lifelong you don't have learners, teachers. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just yeah. incredible to, to listen and to to really take everything that has to be said by these teachers. I wouldn't be standing here right now if it wasn't for some wonderful teachers that I had. So thank you very much. <laughs> very inspirational. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you to Cassidy Devlin Thanks for so coming on in and yeah. break a leg tonight. I'll try to. <laughs> yeah. That means good luck, right? In sure. theater yeah, speak? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Just, in case, just in case somebody out there didn't get it. Well, again, Spamalot playing the Buell Theater through Saturday night only. So one performance tonight, a couple tomorrow. And we've posted a link to more information on the DenverChannel.com. So look for that red button.